Tonight, a treat for the crowds that made their way here to join us for the total solar eclipse. A spectacle that lived up to the hype as different cities dipped into darkness. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoyt. We have worked for weeks, sometimes months in, in a couple of cases, to get you what you needed to know before the eclipse. Now we are watching for everything afterwards. Tonight, we've got crews in Russellville, Searcy, and right here in Little Rock. Some watching traffic concerns as people hit the roads home, others at parties and celebrations. So we're going to start at one of those celebrations where Brooke Buckner had an invite to more than 100 weddings. That is a busy day, Brooke. It's a lot of celebration, electric slide and the hokey pokey. <laughs> That's right, Rolly and Faith. A lot of dancing, um, a lot of cake eating, all of that was had today, and it was really one for the books, I gotta say. I've never experienced something like this. Um, the couples that got married haven't experienced this either. Um, so they wanted to take this opportunity to, you know, let's do something, let's make this memorable, and it was for sure memorable. They told me it's something they'll never forget. Honestly, I feel the same way. I don't think I'm ever gonna forget this. And I did catch up with one couple who has been married for 20 years. So they took the opportunity today to renew their vows and watching them do it was really special. Take a look. We've come through a lot, which led Little Rock couple Nancy and Steve Ray to this moment, renewing their promises they made to each other on April 23rd, 2004. We've gone through healthy and wonderful days into uh, sickness and Saturdays. Steve has been battling Parkinson's disease for two years, and Nancy says he's starting to experience some memory loss, but they still persevere. This is just our way of just telling people that, yes, we've had 20 wonderful years, but just because things are not all going our way, we don't have to stop here. You know, our love and our devotion to each other is what matters. They even incorporated flowers from their wedding day. We wrote some little vows for each other, and I want to put that on Facebook so the family and everybody can see this afternoon so they can see for themselves the commitment is here to stay we got through the worst parts of the medical i know there's going to be more to come uh, we got through the worst parts of the financial and we can say that we are 100 percent out of debt and we don't have to want we are not rich by any means but god has blessed us with everything that we need You heard it right there. That was a very inspiring story. It's safe to say today was a very sweet day here in Russellville. And some of the stories I heard from other couples, they really pulled at the heartstrings. They have been through a lot. They're from all over. And it's just really neat to see them all come together for this thing, this big event, something they'll never forget. And I'm just really thankful I was a part of it all. So for now, reporting in Russellville, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Did a great job up there, Brooke. Meanwhile, the party's still rocking up in Searcy. Crowds taking in a space-themed event up there today. Sarah Horbakowitz is still there with people who enjoyed the day. Sarah, uh, it sounds like a lot is going on over there. <laughs> Yeah, you can still hear the music, right, babe? This party's going till 7. In fact, a heavy metal Star Wars themed band will be coming on at 6. That's their big headliner. So we're not going anywhere anytime soon. But first, I want to introduce you to some people that have been here all day. Alec and Kyle, they are spray painting artists. And you've been spray painting a lot of Eclipse drawings today, right? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of the Eclipse. Uh, we found that it's our most popular artwork today. And I know that from what I've seen, you can kind of see the Corona specially clear with spray paint, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Spray paint really uh, lends itself to painting the Eclipse really easy, you know, really quickly, really crank them out all day. I know you guys pulled some examples also, right, if you want to just show them so everyone yeah. can kind of see. People have been combing through these all day. That's actually why I ended up over here, because I kept seeing people coming back or carrying them. Mm -hmm. So it's super cool to see the Corona around it. How long does it take you to paint something like this? I mean, it really depends on the size and what we're going for. It can take anywhere from 15 minutes to for even an hour sometimes, you know, depending on what level of detail. And is this the biggest event that you guys have worked? I know you're local to Searcy. Yeah, this is definitely the big, the biggest one we've we've done so far. We've been doing events for about a year now. This has definitely been the, the biggest one. And what's it been like? You got to see totality. You got to paint totality as an artist. That's probably a really cool experience. I mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it really, it really is. Uh, the just the eclipse in general, and then like seeing the thing that I've been like working on for the past week because I've been trying to make you know like a stockpile of them. It was really cool to see that kind of all come to fruition like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's been a blast. I mean, just the conversations alone have been worth coming here. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. It's super cool. They'll be here till 7 also, as will the music, as will the uh, silent disco, the Padawan Academy, the bouncy castles. So if you haven't had enough Eclipse fun yet, we will still be out here in Searcy. But for now, reporting in Searcy, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News. I'll send it back to you. Sarah, thank you. And while that artwork certainly lent itself to incredible images and we had our cameras out to try and capture as many of them we could, you guys have sent us some great pics as well. Things taken from phones, professional camera work, or even artwork. It's amazing how much to actually witness it in person, it matched uh, what we saw over our heads today. You can still text us your pictures. Remember the number, 501-376-1111. All right, Tom, you know, we've had a very uh, busy day, a very uh, beautiful day just in terms of what we saw. And it seems like the weather worked with us, you know, early on, but I don't know what it's doing now. I mean, so. that, that's all we please just work with yes, us for work a couple with of us. hours. <laughs> Monday, please, yes. But it's changing now, correct? Uh, it's changing and it will change pretty dramatically here over the next few hours with rain and thunderstorms moving into the state. But look at this, uh, because we had more sunshine today over the northern half of the state, our temperatures did manage to make it into the middle 80s in southern Arkansas, where we had some thicker cloud cover. Texarkana, Camden, Monticello, even El Dorado temperatures here also very warm, but they've had some spotty showers. Clouds will continue to move to the north throughout the evening and overnight tonight. We'll expect rain and thunderstorms. In fact, several waves of thunderstorm activity uh, expected over the next several days. Uh, tonight, there's the activity, or this evening, I should say, uh, located over southern, southeastern, and eastern Arkansas. Spotty in nature. More to come out of Louisiana, where there is a severe thunderstorm watch box. This activity is going to drift north as low pressure moves into the southern part of Arkansas. Hour by hour tonight, from the upper 70s into the middle 60s, and notice we will begin to see the rain chances pick up. Several inches of rain are in the forecast. We'll talk about just how much here in just a few minutes. All right, Tom, thanks so much. Now, one of the other items we were watching in the weeks leading up to this was how many people would show up based on that weather forecast. And based on what we are seeing on iDrive Arkansas and RDOT's traffic cameras, a lot of you showed up in Russellville. That is I-40. It is heading westbound towards northwest Arkansas as a, a lot of traffic slowly making their way out of Pope County. They're backing up again in Johnson County, up by Clarksville. If I get my geography right, Tom is nodding at me. We'll keep an eye on iDrive. You should as well as we go throughout the evening. Now, some are leaving their Eclipse watch parties, but some are still flocking in to enjoy all the River Market festivities still going on tonight. Which brings us to THV 11's Rebecca Brown, who has been there all day. Rebecca, what was the eclipse like for many people you were with? Well, Faith and Roly, as you know, we received two minutes of totality here in Little Rock, but right here in the River Market, within those minutes, I experienced everything you can imagine from tears of joy, happiness, to all the oohs and ahs you can hear. But the most important, important thing that I witnessed was love. You just had to be there. You just, <laughs> that's all I can say. It was real beautiful. Words can't even express the emotions thousands of people in Arkansas are feeling after they got to witness a total solar eclipse. It was pretty crazy. It was the first time I seen one, so uh, everybody's pretty excited. And uh, it's just a lifetime experience. A moment full of tears, happiness, joy, but most importantly, love. What did you just do a few minutes ago? I proposed. <laughs> and I started thinking, you know, this eclipse is a once in a lifetime thing, total eclipse. She's a once in a lifetime. All the way from Alabama, with a 15 year love, they decided to make a trip to Arkansas to not only make a vow to each other, but to sweeten the deal by seeing the eclipse. It was incredible. Everybody said it would be just like life altering, and it was. It's really amazing. Never seen anything like it. Especially when you took them off for the first time, it's just like, it was a cinematic experience. I truly had like the time of my life today, just meeting some amazing people here in the amphitheater. As you can see behind me, it's pretty much closed, but the fun is still outside in the river market. There's still food trucks out there. And I'm just, again, grateful that I got to witness that once in a lifetime event. Live in Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. 
Rebecca, thank you. Now, we have another crew out there. We've seen marriages, proposals now, but we had a crew that was rubbing shoulders with NASA scientists and astronomers at one of the cities that went all out for the eclipse. Scott Covert spent the entire weekend in Russellville, and Michaela Johnson joined him bright and early this morning in the city that had over four minutes of totality. Years of planning and preparation by city, local, state, even some federal agencies for a very special four minutes. Final reactions here from Russellville, McAllen. I think the only word that I have is amazing. You know, we did so much prep and just, we were so excited for this event and talked to the different state agencies about what it took for them to prepare for this. And you're like, yeah, this is gonna be a big deal, but actually sitting there, seeing the totality and here in Russellville over four minutes, it was truly just otherworldly. It's something that I've never felt before. And of course I've never experienced an eclipse before, but it was truly, what everyone who has what they've said about it it was it was true it was factual because you just want to take it all in it was beautiful to see and it was just it we saw it start to dim as we were going through the partial eclipse and that was cool and yep. then we got into it and then it now it's going it was going back into the partial eclipse and it was just a wonderful sight i'm just i'm still kind of in awe and in shock as much as this was a science experiment for many folks it was an emotional experience as well the oohs and the ahs uh, the heartfelt emotions that you heard and could visually see when we were in those four minutes of darkness, of totality, uh, quite remarkable. Uh, certainly planning for my next total solar eclipse. May have to wait about 20 years, but thankfully it's coming right back to Arkansas as well. And of course, if you missed any of the big moments today, we've got them right now on THV11.com and the THV11 Plus app. You can relive the eclipse from start to finish. So check out the celebrations as they happen and really feel that excitement all over again. Now we heard the warnings for weeks over prepare, but with the prospect of thousands of people coming to town, some businesses are saying they did not see the influx they had expected. We spoke to two restaurants today, Certified Pies in Little Rock and Morningside Bagels in Maumelle. Both said they didn't see the amount of people they were hoping for this weekend, but they open today when they aren't normally to celebrate with people from all over. We're just not seeing the uh, amount of influx that we thought we were going to see. Um, but it's good, it's encouraging, it's, it's uplifting to know that people will get out there and support you, and we've seen that. I'm hoping to see a lot of our regulars today. Uh, actually, I was surprised that I didn't see a lot more this past weekend. There's still time now as we head into the week. Morningside Bagels closed earlier today, but Certified Pies is still open. You can stop by and grab some dinner until 8 o'clock tonight. Right now, North Little Rock police are investigating a deadly shooting that happened earlier this morning. According to officials, they found an adult man dead around Taylor Street around the Proto Junction area. Detectives are currently saying that this is an isolated incident. A suspect has been taken into custody while the name of the victim has yet to be released. We'll continue to keep you updated as we get more information. Also in North Little Rock, the Shorter College family dealing with the sudden death of their president this evening. Dr. Jerome Green became the 45th president of Shorter back in 2012. Under his administration, the school saw record-breaking enrollment and graduations. The North Little Rock-based college launched new academic programs and established the STEM Center for Academic Excellence. Prior to working at Shorter, Dr. Green served at Miles College as well as on the Arkansas Ethics Commission. He was 69 years old and arrangements are pending. And new tonight at 5, we are now learning a plane crashed in Johnson County today during the total solar eclipse. Yeah, it happened near the Clarksville Airport just after the city experienced totality. You can see a helicopter helping direct fire crews on ATVs to the downed plane. We are working to learn more details like how many passengers were on the plane and if they were hurt. When we get those, we will bring them to you on air and online at THV11.com. A few spotty showers out there this afternoon and the coverage will increase as we head into the evening and nighttime hours, looks like a rainy affair over the next several days. I'll have those details after the break. And do the hogs have their man? After the break, we'll get the latest in the possible big name that's been bagged to come to the Razorback basketball program. <laughs> 